Welcome back to AP Chemistry. My name is Jeremy Krug, your instructor, and we're going to learn a few more basic skills here in this, uh, in this video. The fourth basic skill is being able to make a precise measurement. Now what that means is you can measure something, whether it's the volume, the length, the mass of something, with the correct number of significant figures. So this idea about significant figures, well, it just doesn't seem to be going away, does it? It, it is very fundamental. You know, sometimes this is actually quite easy. You may have a digital balance like this. You're weighing something or just finding its mass there. And it tells you the answer with the right number of significant figures. I expect you to, write, to use all of those. You know, 160.03. You just read the little screen there, the little uh, digital readout, and that is the, the, the correct mass with the right number of significant figures. You know, sometimes it's a little bit harder. You may have a, a burette like this where you're trying to, you know, find the... Uh, the volume that's being given there, and it's a little harder to do. So in this case, if you have a meniscus, and you can, you can tell that the level here, there's a, a curvature that's called a, a meniscus, and that happens, or that exists because water uh, has greater attraction to glass than it has to itself, so it tends to have that little curvature in there. Read the vertex of the parabola. That means in this case it's, it's the bottom of that. And so if you can look at that, uh, what you want to do is report every digit that you're sure of and the first digit that you're unsure of. So what that means is you need to read between the lines. You need to estimate one digit between those lines. So I can tell, you know, if, if the bottom of that meniscus is right there, it's between 20 and 21, so it's 20 point something. I am sure of that, so it's 20 point something. Well, it's also between the point nine and the 21.0, so it's 20 point nine something. I'm sure of that much. Well, the rule is you want to estimate one place, and so that means you really have to squint. You really have to read between the lines there. And it looks like it's almost ha right at halfway between there, maybe a little bit closer to the 21.0, depending on how you see that. So I'm going to guess it's about 20.96 milliliters. And let's see how I did. Oh, looks like I got it right on. So that's the reading of this burette. Uh, let's say we have another example here. This is not a real burette. This is a computer generated one, but can you do the same thing here? Hopefully you can tell that uh, you know this time we're reading up. This must be a graduated cylinder this time. It's between 20 and 30. So that means that it's 20 point something and it looks like it's in between 25 and 26. That's going to be 25 point something, but can you estimate that? Well, if we look right down here, 25, you know, it, it's most of the way, it's, it's a lot closer to 26 than it is to 25, so I'm going to estimate that as maybe 25.8, maybe 25.7 milliliters. And so did I get it right? Yep, looks like I got it, 25.8 milliliters. Okay, if you're measuring the length, have to do the same thing. So here is a paper clip. We put it at zero, and it looks like it's between two and three, so it's two point something. How would you estimate that? I would estimate it as about 2.3 centimeters. It's not quite to the halfway, is it? Yeah, about 2.3 centimeters. Now, notice that if you have a better ruler, let's say we have the exact same paper clip, but this time we have a ruler that reads, you know, it has little graduations for each tenth of a centimeter. Well, that means now we can be more precise in our measurement. We can read to that extra decimal place. It means you have to squint, but uh, you're going to have to be able to, to read that. So it's two point, and there's one, two, three. So it's 2.3 something. You have to estimate that. That's hard to do. It's a, it looks to me like it's not quite halfway, a little bit less. I'm going to guess about 2.34 centimeters. 
Okay. Do you see how when we are reading and taking a measurement, you always want to estimate between the lines? That's hard to do sometimes, but that's, that's part of doing this. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little bit about significant figures and how to make measurements. Uh, please uh, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, so that you're up to date on all the videos here. Uh, my name is Jeremy Krug. You can visit me at krugslist.org. And I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel where we can learn some more chemistry together.